Yes, I have three top tips for trial runners, and I'll tell you what it is. Forestry roads are the greatest things ever to train on because if you can run them successfully, you can run anything and run it well. I know I used to train a lot when I, you know, going around Ennettle Valley, down from Black Sail Huts, and I used to come over Black Sail, round the lake, and back up the other side, and back down the road to Bowdoin, where I was farming. And uh, over the years, I took all sorts of marathon runners with us and uh, the forest road coming back up under Pillar Rock, where it slightly climbs, it sorted them out. I have a good tip for running up hill. Yeah. When you come to start to climb, just relax as much as possible on short steps until your body adjusts to climbing, and then lengthen your stride and put a bit of pressure on and keep running well. And once you, before you get out to the real top of the length of your stride as long as you can and keep it going because you'll get away a lot faster than the ordinary people who's pushing on the legs because they've got to adjust to running again and it'll take them maybe 30 or 40 strides. And if you're running well for 40, 30 or 40 strides, you're, you're away. You know. you know, you've got to put pain to the back of your mind and it's, it's not simple because it's easier to give up than carry on and uh, you've got to make sure your body has plenty of body salts in it at that time, you know, because when you're running and you get to the point where you sort of think of giving up, the point, the point is then that your body salts are very, very low, and uh, if you can maintain them and keep your body fresh, you'll avoid going through those dips, because yeah. everybody has them if they're not prepared for them. And... Uh, you know, a couple of long drinks over a marathon distance with a, the right amount of glucose and salt. You don't want to need a lot of salt. It might be half a teaspoon, maybe a third of a teaspoon. But you just take what your body wants and to put more than that down than what you need, it, it rejects it. And, it, you know, you might taste salt in your, in your system, like, you know, in your mouth. There's nothing better than a good cup of tea. I, and then a, a pint of Guinness later. I, it didn't sensible to drink uh, alcohol on an empty stomach after you've been really having yourself. You know, a cup of tea yeah. and maybe a biscuit, and then if you fancy some after that, settle down. Alcohol, you know, when you have no blood in your stomach, doesn't do you any good. You know, it can make you sick. I've seen a lot of people drink a can of export or something like that and they finish a long run like doing Bob Graham or maybe when they come into watch one of Bob Graham and he advised them not to drink it, oh it'll not hurt me. By the time they're halfway up you but it's the part and the way with it like you know that by all means enjoy it but uh, it won't enjoy you. <laughs> I had a pint of, I had a good pint of Guinness last night. Well Guinness it keeps you keeps you right, Guinness like it's got all those vitamins in it, like you know. Uh, Thank you.